Rainy Saturday. Someone's warm though inside and comfy. That's the uh, laundry basket, in case you can't see that laundry basket. It's a good day to be running in some Solomons. Nice and muddy and rainy and cold and wet in Colorado today. We love the rain because we don't get much of it. So going to Mount Falcon, going to give it a go for a uh, little PR again. A little PR. I want to keep getting faster. It's a little bit of a crazy Saturday. Was planting grass seed. Uh, the fam is just kind of chilling, reading books, watching a little cartoon action on a Saturday morning. So Papa's going to go pound some ground real quick. Oh man, the day marches on. Hope you're having a great Saturday, aka Sunday, because that's probably, uh, this is probably when you're watching this. All right, we got the shoes ready to rock and roll. I guess it's I guess it's not trail running if you don't fall. Oh. 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 Oh baby. Ow. Well, that's my first fall in a while. Oh. I just wasn't paying attention. I just wasn't paying attention. Ow. Shit. Ow. Three times up to the shelter. Never done that before. This is the shelter. And here's my track from the Solomon. S Lab Sent 6 SG. Let's just say they arrived in the nick of time for this weather. All right, I gotta get off this mountain before it starts raining. And, well, sorry, before it starts snowing on me. Holy shnikes. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, can't see. Test one, two, three. We're in focus. I think we're in focus. Welcome. Welcome. This is a life vlog daily channel. This is not 
a gear review channel. This is not a running channel. This is a life channel. I'm just sharing my life with you. That's all. That's And so if you arrive to learn about this shoe right here, welcome. But just know that this is not, if you go back and look at the other 800 videos that I've published, it's all about life and seeking beauty, working hard, and loving others. Well, today on Mount Falcon, about eight hours ago, because it is now 9.21 p.m., and I'm not giving up on this vlog. I am not giving up. No, I am not. After 800-ish, not quite, almost 800-ish in a row, we're going to keep plugging along and film something for you that is of general value. So, these shoes arrived in the mail from Back Country two days ago. Thank you, Back Country. And basically, I am stoked. I'm stoked. And this is what I said Two days ago. Number one reason I went with this shoe over another Hoka or perhaps a La Sportiva or an Innov 8 or even Adidas is actually coming out with some pretty good trail shoes right now. It's the inner liner. The inner liner. You're looking at it right now on your screen and it might be a little hard to see but basically this inner liner is clutch for holding your foot like a bear hug. <sighs> I love bear hugs. And so that's what I said two days ago about these shoes when I, my initial impressions were that it is going to bear hug my foot and these lugs are going to be clutch, especially in the rougher conditions like today. It was raining in Colorado. We don't often get rain here. It's kind of dry here. And so when it rains, you plant grass seed. You already saw that today. And you go for a run in the mud. And it's actually kind of fun for us, you know, high altitude Rocky Mountain runners to run in mud because we often don't get to do that. It's usually very dry and rocky. And so these shoes were clutch on Mount Falcon, which if you're a local runner in Denver, and if you, why not? The question of the day, have you ever run on Mount Falcon? Comment below. And what did you think of it? Basically, these shoes were incredible, incredible in the mud. They rocked. This, These lugs on the bottom just annihilated the mud. Like I actually was running through the mud rather than around the mud. Um, so I love the shoe. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to take this shoe up the 14ers. Gray's Peak, Tories. I want to try Longs this summer. Obviously the Collegiate Peaks, my hometown territory. This shoe is going to be perfect for the mountain the 14ers running up the 14ers okay so that was the uh that's my first run in the solomon since <laughs> this is wrong the solomon sg s s's solomon could you reduce the s's the solomon s lab in there solomon why so many s's so my first run in the solomon s lab sense 6 sg shoe was a success it's very aggressive it makes your calves and your legs tired but it's fast it's fast. It's a narrow fit. Keep that in mind. If you have a wide foot, it's definitely more of a narrow fit. But I love that. It's good for my foot. And it, it almost feels, I know this is crazy and scary to say, but it almost feels like a cross-country spike. Not quite. I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I'm not even kidding. Like, it, it ha if you were running crazy cross-country courses, this wouldn't be a bad shoe to throw on your foot. Um, so, again, I did 15 miles in it today. 4,500 feet of vertical. It felt good, but I don't know how comfortable I would be in this shoe past 25 miles. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.